Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and a happy new year. I uh, just want to apologise for the fact there's a tree in the background. I filmed this uh, between December and New Year so hopefully you don't mind. So today I've got a no poly haul, the first haul of 2022. And as you can see I've got this mesh bralette which has bra straps on the back. You can see all the mesh, it pretty much goes all the way around and then the cups are the only bit that are like double layered. So I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really like this that much. I felt like the cups were a bit of a weird size and it just sort of like sat on my body instead of like hugged it, if you know what I mean, but I don't know, whatever. Moving on to the next top, I really love this top. It's got like a, it was like a cotton detail and it has this mesh overlay, which I thought was very cute. It sort of took a casual top and made it a little bit more dressy. So as you can see the mesh when I stopped moving at the top, look at that, there you go. You've got that double layer there and then the mesh over the top. And then it goes down into almost like a bit of a triangle shape, which I thought looked really nice with low-waisted jeans. And I also really like the straps on, the straps on this because it just made it nice and stretchy. So it fit really well because of the stretchiness. So yeah, and the colour. Love the colour. Oh yeah, and I got some dresses. So literally this dress was like the top in the first part of this video. So it's got a mesh in the middle which you'll see when I come closer. But this just fit really nicely. I felt like it hugged my body really well. And then the straps, as you can see, say Oh Polly and it's written in white. Which I thought added a bit of like sportiness to this dress. I don't know why that makes me think it's sporty because it's definitely not sporty. But I just thought it was cute. And then you've got all of the... I don't even know what that's called, like the poles down the middle of the dress which give it structure. Someone's going to know what I mean, but yeah. So just for reference, by the way, I got everything in a size 8. Oh yeah, this was my favourite, probably my favourite dress of the haul. It's giving me like sort of Spanishy dress vibes because of the little frill bit at the bottom. And as you can see, it's kind of like asymmetric as well. The only thing I'll say about this dress though, and it's also slinky material, which I love a bit of slinky material. Um, the straps on it weren't adjustable and they were like stretchy ones. So I feel like if you're putting this dress on like over a long period of time, they might break, which is a bit annoying. But I'm guessing that's something you can fix. I'm unsure. And the only other thing, I'm sorry, if you're over five foot seven or over five foot six even, this dress is too short. So yeah, it was just literally sitting just under my bum, so too short. Okay, this dress doesn't make any sense, obviously, for the time of year because it's really cold, even though the other ones are short, but this one's just giving me a bit more of like a summery thing because, yeah, I couldn't do the back up, as you can tell. So I, I don't get open sizes. Sometimes I'm like a 10 or an 8 or sometimes even a 6, so who knows. But yeah, it literally looks like a corset detail top, like the milkmaid version, but it's not. It's a dress, but it looks like I'm wearing a tub and a skirt. It was like a weird ruffly material. I wasn't too much a fan of the material. It felt like a really hard cotton, but I thought it was quite cute if you're like on holiday, you've got a nice tan, but I don't know if I would probably wear it in this country because I feel like it just, because we have no sun here really, yeah. Oh yeah, the next dress. I can't believe I, I really sound so disappointing, don't I? Like, I did not like this dress whatsoever. I really liked the satin. I really liked the little pink gems that were on it as well. But it just literally showed every lump, bump, crevice and, you know, all your insecurities. Do you know what I mean? And also I feel like if you are smaller chested, it's not, it didn't feel very flattering. I felt like I would have needed a bra. It felt like it was kind of like pushing my chest down, if you know what I mean. And then, yeah, I just felt like if you had a food baby or if you want to wear underwear with your dresses like most people do, you're going to see them even if you're wearing, like, those invisible pants. So, yeah, I was unsure about this one. It's a shame because I like the colour. Next dress. Love it. This is part of their new range. I can't remember what it was called, but I think it was, like, something sparkly. I absolutely love the colour and I love the silver sparkles, darling. I think it looks fabulous and I love the ruched detail at the front and at the back so if I had lined that with my bum correctly then I just think it looks really flattering I don't know why it does but it just does and at the front you've got the little string so if you wanted to make it a bit shorter or pull it down to make it a bit longer then you could and then you've got this like very risque very brave top detail which personally I felt really secure in it which is good but like I think it's one of those pieces where you'd have to like have a friend like watch out for you for the rest of the evening um, I really like the cross detail as well and the cut out middle. The only thing I didn't like is, as you can see by my waist, I don't know whether it's because my hips aren't that big and maybe this dress is made for someone with bigger hips, but it kind of like gaped quite a lot. And even though it's not really showing it that much on camera, I don't know, it's just something that sort of put me off wanting to keep this dress because I was a bit like, it just stood out to me. Do you know what I mean? You probably can't even tell, but it just stood out. So yeah, that is the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. And I know it was extremely short, but you know, short and snappy. Hopefully that's uh, helpful. I really hope you enjoyed this O Poly haul and uh, let me know if you get anything. Thank you. Bye.